Hello, I'm Beverly Lucas, director of Cedar Hill Cemetery Foundation. Today's video is about the Celtic Cross. A wide variety of monument styles, including the draped urn, sarcophagus, obelisk, and more, can be found in 19th century cemeteries such as Cedar Hill. The Celtic Cross is a particularly popular style and many fine examples are located within our memorial grounds. What is now known as the Celtic Cross emerged in Ireland and Britain in the early Middle Ages. It is essentially a Latin cross with a nimbus or halo surrounding the intersection of the arms and stem. The Celtic Cross's origin is in Gaelic Ireland and was introduced to Scotland, Wales, and parts of England by Irish Christian missionaries. The cross originally was used to mark sacred locations or to spread the Christian message. It is most commonly seen in regions evangelized by Irish missionaries in the 9th to the 12th centuries. Although a Christian symbol, the Celtic cross may have its roots in pagan beliefs. The circle with an even-armed cross within it is a sun symbol. One popular belief is that in the 5th century, St. Patrick took the ancient sun symbol and melded it to the Christian cross. He then introduced the new cross during his conversion of the kings from paganism to Christianity. Although the exact origin of the Celtic cross is not clear, the form gained new popularity during a 19th century revival, which resulted in the name Celtic Cross. The revival began in Ireland in the 1850s and the cross became popular for funerary monuments starting in Dublin in the 1860s and quickly spread from there. A Celtic cross seen in many 19th century cemeteries in the United States can be a plain stone monument or more often embellished with intricate tracery and symbolism. There are many wonderful Celtic crosses at Cedar Hill Cemetery and I invite you to explore the memorial grounds to view them. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Cedar Hill's YouTube channel to see more videos about the historic cemetery.